All right, we just came out of that uh, wicked guitar solo. How are you going to do that? You're just going to kind of do the same thing. This is this kind of like a, a fingered glissando. This is where they go, where do we go now? And the reason they're asking where they go now is because they have no idea what they're about to do, right? Great band. They can just do it on the fly. Those are not effects that the band put in, that the Guns N' Roses put in. Those are just things that I thought sounded cool on the violin. And what I was looking for is just ways to make the violin be itself and uh, just effects and stuff like that that I could find. And this is the, as you know from earlier sections, the grab. Where you're just reaching up and grabbing something and then pulling, which gives it a, a musical direction that lands down. And that's what we're going for, is to land So, we're about to head back into the double shuffle again, which if you watched the previous video on the double shuffle, you know it is not as hard as it sounds. Once you get the... And you notice that's down, 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 up, 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 down, down. Down, up. I guess I say down, down every time I do that. Alright, so um, let's go into that last double shuffle. So, uh, let's see. You might want to set that up just a little bit and then... As cool as you can be. If you start running away, you're in trouble. Oh, I mean, you can't go faster than the fastest. So it's not about speed right here. You gotta really pace yourself, so. position. It's not uh, your typical hand position, but I needed certain notes, and you're going to kind of create a little space over the A string with your first finger so that it doesn't dampen the string. moment in the, I, I think, except for the opening, in the entire piece of uh, music we're playing here, in all, in all of Sweet Child of Mine, except for... I think the very end is just so amazing, the way they took that energy and then just slowed it all down, it's like slamming on the brakes and just smoke flying everywhere, and they turned into that massive triplet, and that is way cool. Nice job, uh, Guns and Roses, on that. So, um... You can go as wild as you want. Um, and I'd suggest really bringing it back here and rocking out at the end. If you have long hair and you're going to make a video, you get extra points if you, you know, this is where you 
long hair. I need to grow longer hair, don't you think? side. It's okay. Finally, a violin teacher that says, it's all right if you play on the other side of the bridge. Do it. Um, no, don't do it. Or do what you want, okay? Um, so that's the end of the piece. I love this. Hammer this. Hammer it. They don't play that chord, by the way. Guns N' Roses does not play the chord. And I think I changed it. Yeah, um. yeah, you see little cross outs in the music because I love bringing. I don't know. I don't know why I did it that way. If you don't want to do it that way, don't do it that way. Don't get all purist on me, okay? Go play electric guitar if you want to do it exactly like they do. I'm just kidding. Have fun with it, okay? So. Notice, I don't go. I go. It just makes it sound better, I think. Your call. This is interesting at the end. This this dissonance, this is the um, like second to last line, and it's this B flat against this A. For I had I had been playing it because I believe those are the notes that I hear when I listen to uh, GNR play. But I liked having the dissonance and then cleaning up the upper note uh, into just a single note. It just led the music in a way that made me happier. So, but feel free and. Don't get all literal on me here either. It's not about getting the notes, you know, in the exact proper time. It's about really feeling wah da da deep wah. with the left hand. Get the bow close to the root. And then whatever happens, I like to end on a down when you reconcile back to the D uh, unison. So that you can... And I remember the first time I played this piece, I actually ended it softly like they do. And I uh, had a bunch of friends over one night. They're like, no, end it loud, end it loud. So, But if you feel like ending it softly or changing anything in the music, go for it. Don't be afraid. Have fun. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. I may put up one more uh, video just saying goodbye to all of you uh, rock and fiddle challengers. Although, Russell and I are talking about having many, many rock and fiddle challenges in the future sponsored by the Dueling Fiddlers. Um, I've had a lot of requests for easier music, which is totally cool. We're happy to uh, do that with you guys. So uh, stay tuned. Um, remember, you need to have your videos uploaded by, I think it's uh, January 16th at like mid midnight Eastern time or something like that. But uh, check your email, double check that email. I will not accept entries after that. It's just we have to put a cutoff date at some point. And um, thanks again to Shar Music and especially to Jan Van Ruyen for this beautiful violin. It will find a wonderful home somewhere in the near future. Take care, you guys.